Hey there YouTube, uh, today I'll be coming to you with a video of Eugene's newest and probably most popular ROM right now. It's uh, 2.2 for the Samsung Galaxy S phones. Uh, it's called McNutt. And um, you'll find the ROM in the vibrant section of XDA developers website. And I didn't see any mention from Eugene and I searched through all the comments that were left on the ROM's post and I didn't really see anybody that said they had installed it on their Samsung Captivate so I thought I'd give it a try and work with no problem I believe the ROM was originally developed for the uh, GTI 9000 Galaxy phone and uh, so I figured it wouldn't be any problem putting it on the uh, Captivate which it wasn't so let's go ahead and turn it on and show you what you'll see when you first kick it on. And this is the Captivate. You'll see the Galaxy SGT9000 logo there. But what's different, it will have the Nexus 1 boot animation instead of uh, Samsung's, which is kind of nice. Now when you first put this ROM on here, like any other ROM, your first boot up will take a few minutes. <clears throat> Same for a uh, media scanner. In the uh, forums post, he uh, mentions deleting some files to speed up media scanner, but uh, I didn't even worry about it. Maybe it took a few extra minutes, I couldn't tell. The first thing you'll notice is it has the glass lock screen still. No big problem. if I can get it done long. There we go. Alright. Give it a second to load up. And then the uh, first thing I'll run through is all the widgets that this ROM comes with. First off you'll notice right there uh, what is it? Fancy widget that he's been putting in his ROMs lately. Real nice. Easy to use. And then it comes with your standard touch with uh, widgets, feeds and updates. Um, this is a new one. Uh, I've never really used a 2.2 device before so I don't know what are on those phones really. But uh, if you can get it to focus you'll see that I have the market widget, the Android market widget. There it goes. And like I said I don't know if that's you know on every 2.2 phone or not. Um, and you'll see the uh, daily briefing and then he added a battery widget which is really nice and it seems pretty accurate um, then it's got the time, the dual clock widget and then the calendar widget there to your right and that's pretty much it for the widgets uh, let's see and then you'll notice down here your application launcher is now in the middle instead of the right so I launch it up and it keeps the same touch whiz uh, app drawer. Um, now a few things, there's a few apps, I believe the Samsung apps. Well right here you'll see a Samsung app application. Uh, you'll get updates for it, like when you first load it, it should show like six updates are available. available in your notifications and let's talk about this real quick let's see what all he added uh, you have the auto rotation as the addition here um I don't know if this is with all phones or if it's maybe just because I used it on the Captivate when I first loaded the ROM it has an orientation issue at the moment and yeah when auto rotation is on, when you first turn your phone on, it will be sideways. So, and the quickest way to fix it, which is really handy, instead of having to go to settings and doing it, just drag your menu, menu down and click off auto rotation, and then bam, you're good to go. GPS is still broken, uh, no big deal. And it comes with a uh, task manager app already installed. He uh, also had this task manager on his Frankentwiz ROMs, 
and it's pretty nice. The applications are open to be here. You can come to all your uh, applications that are installed and remove them from here. Check your uh, your random access memory and RAM management and all that kind of stuff. And then a summary on how much space you've had taken up on your phone. So that's a pretty nice application manager. Also, if you hold down <clears throat> to bring up multitasker, you can access task manager from there also. Um, now, another problem that I have, if you'll notice, my back button is my home button, and my home button is my back button, and my volume rockers are also reversed. Up is down, down is up. No big deal. And so, now let's show you some of the nice things about it. It has the uh, <coughs> YouTube app, the new YouTube app already pre-installed. Which I was pretty happy about. Because the new YouTube app is a lot better than the original. You can watch it while looking through related videos, info, comments, and I have no clue what I'm watching, I just clicked on the video. So, Alright, so that one way to prove this 2.2. Um, another way, is let's go to a website with some Flash content on it. It comes with the Flash installed. I've seen some people saying they had a little problem with it, but I had no problem whatsoever. And this is uh, <coughs> the revision 3 of the ROM, so some of those comments could have been from the revision 2. And you'll notice up top here, the flash player at CheatCC.com is loaded up. And when you first go to a website with flash content, it'll give you a little memo up top letting you know you can tap it to interact with. Just like that. That will lag your browser down a little bit. But hey, it's flash on your phone, so who really cares? So there you go, you see flash running real smooth. Um, one awesome thing about this ROM is that it comes pre and uh, when you install the ROM in your phone it goes ahead and installs the lag fix which is a really nice feature uh, before I uh, installed the ROM I went ahead and ran uh, quadrant standard on uh, my FrankenTwiz ROM without the lag fix and my score was a 913 and then once I got this loaded up installed quadrant standard again and my new score was a 1492 so that is a hell of a difference and that beat every other phone so not bad at all um let's see now I don't have any plans on modding my phone to have the front facing camera because <coughs> I could just see me really screwing that up but uh now when you go to uh call somebody it will have the video call option for those of you that are willing to take the chance on doing that, adding the front facing camera. Uh, you'll see that everything appears to be touch with. You still have the same swipe left, swipe right. Alright, and the uh, <coughs> The way I went about installing it was uh, just as the same way I installed all of my other ROMs from Eugene is uh, through ROM Manager. Uh, you don't have to worry about uh, clearing and restoring factory defaults and all, and all that clearing user data because Eugene's ROMs automatically do that when you install them unless told otherwise. <coughs> not really sure how you tell it otherwise, but uh, not too concerned about it. Uh, 
So yeah, I just installed it that way and I had no problem at all. Uh, there's all kinds of kernels available for this ROM. I don't really get into uh, flashing different kernels and stuff like that. I'm thinking about trying a few just to try it out. But there's a bunch of them. And you'll notice the gallery has been left alone and it's just a lot quicker but you will notice that because of the orientation issue it uh has all my pictures tilted there so but same old gallery and it just goes a lot quicker when you uh load it up the first time um rom's very nice very fast i'm looking forward to the future updates to see what he can do with it i mean everything runs perfectly except for the minor little issues that i've shown uh couldn't really tell you which camera app this is uh, like his other ones I'm gonna just guess and say it's the uh, i9000 because he tends to use that one more than the others so that would be my guess um, and if you just install the ROM like I have and don't do any kernel flashing you can easily go back to previous ROMs no problem I tried it earlier and had no problem at all with it and uh, so for you, those of you who are familiar with 2.2 you'll have no problem with this at all for those who have never used 2.2 there will be a few little things you'll learn along the way but uh, other than that real user friendly still very nice and it beats having an iPhone so alright well uh, y'all please rate and subscribe and uh, hope to have more videos for y'all soon alright have a good day